Collective defense is at the heart of NATO's founding treaty. It binds NATO's 30 member countries. If one or more are attacked, Article 5 can be triggered. Article 5 states, an armed attack against one or more of them in Europe or North America shall be considered an attack against them all. Once triggered, it allows such actions as it deems necessary, including the use of armed force to restore and maintain the security of the North Atlantic area. An act of war is something which is an armed attack. Uh, that's what is specified in the Article 5, the Collective Defence Clause of the NATO Treaty, the Washington Treaty of 1949. But what an armed attack actually is these days is broader than it was in 1949, uh, because uh, NATO invoked Article 5, the Collective Defence Clause, for the first and so far only time in its history on the 12th of September, immediately after the 9-11 terrorist attacks against the United States. And I don't think, of course, many people who knew NATO during the Cold War would have expected that when Article 5 was finally used, it would have been in response to a terrorist attack rather than a major tank thrust uh, by the Soviet Union through the fall of the gap in Germany during the Cold War. NATO subsequently has declared that a cyber attack, if it had a certain level of severity and really did a lot of damage, could also be considered uh, as a case of collective defence and trigger Article 5. So uh, the spectrum is quite broad. Uh, it depends on what you call an armed attack. It can be with electrons through cyberspace as much as through tank shells and missiles these days. But at the end of the day, the determination of if it qualifies or doesn't qualify is going to be made by the 30 countries uh, collectively around the table of the North Atlantic Council in Brussels. After the Salisbury attacks back in 2018, NATO did act collectively. It did not declare Article 5. It didn't respond uh, with a military countermeasure, but uh, it uh, um, uh, expelled hundreds uh, of Russian diplomats from embassies in Brussels, in the United States, right across the, uh, the NATO uh, uh, world. Uh, the EU took similar action and many other countries came out in sympathy uh, with because of the horror of the use of Novichok and they expelled Russian diplomats as well. So I think today NATO needs to act above Article 5 five level if it's an armed attack, but it can't just sort of sit with its hands crossed and do nothing if there's a provocation below the Article 5 level. So it's greatly developed what it calls its toolbox of responsive measures. So that, you know, proportionate to the form of the aggression, the outrageous nature of the behavior, uh, it's able to adopt some sort of countermeasures. <laughs>